Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. The fight for the soul of River State is far from being over, considering the fact that Edwin Clark, the leader of Pandem, have taken a strong move against the 27 lawmakers uh, who had defected from the People's Democratic Party to APC. Don't forget that uh, the court seems to be passing judgment in honor, or let me say in favor of them, and despite the fact that there are provable evidence everywhere. But right now, Edwin Clark has decided to drag in a very key member of the security system in Nigeria and is making strong demand for proof for a particular crime that they have committed. According to him, he calls it perjury. Let's look at full details of what his demands are and why he's putting it forward. The former Federal Commissioner for Information and South South Leader, Chief Edwin Clark, has called on Inspector General of Police, Kayode Betukun, to urgently investigate alleged misuse of oath by former Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Martin Amole, and his colleagues. According to Clark, the proof is necessary due to repeated contradictory statements made under oath by Maule and others wherein they reportedly alternated between declaring themselves members of the People's Democratic Party and other affiliations. In a statement released by journalists in Abuja, the elder statement criticized recent judgment by Justice James Omotosho and the Court of Appeal concerning the River State House of Assembly. Clark claimed the ruling were obtained by fraud, alleging that Amole and other plaintiffs conceal crucial information from the court. He argued that such omissions influenced the court's ruling. As leader of the Pan Niger, Niger Delta Forum, Pandev, Clark clarified that while judgment obtained by fraud reflect misrepresentation by plaintiff, they do not undermine the judge's integrity or competence. He further explained that Amole, alongside 26 assembly members defected from the People's Democratic Party PDP to the All Progressive Congress on December 11, 2023, thereby violating Section 109, Subsection 1G of the 1999 Constitution, which mandates automatic loss of seat for defectors. Clark pointed to subsequent legal action initiated by Mowley and his colleagues, claiming they included conflicting statements under oath regarding their party affiliation. He argued that Justice Amotosho's January 22, 2024 judgment is invalid as it failed to recognize that the plaintiff had forfeited their seat upon defection. Additionally, Clark raised concern over Justice Okoruwo's involvement in halting actions by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to file the seat vacated by the defectors prior to his promotion to the Court of Appeal. Clark urged the IGP to investigate Amole and his associate for possible perjury underscoring the importance of litigants presenting truthful and complete statement before the court. He emphasized that judgment based on fraudulent information mislead courts, potentially altering case outcome unjustly. The statement highlighted Clark's legal experience and cited examples from Nigerian and British jurisprudence on judgment obtained by fraud re enforcing the necessary or the necessity of truthful pleading. Finally, Clark condemned the Court of Appeal respond to the real state governor's appeal against Justice Omotosha's ruling, deeming the remark against Governor Fubara unwarranted and calling for a transparent review of the case. Mm, this is really interesting, I must say. And um, unfortunately, what we are hearing now points to one direction. So my colleague is in the house, and we just want to talk about this. Now, first of all, uh, he's demanding for a probe into misuse of oath. In other words, lying on that oath, in the case whereby you have moved from this party to the other, but by the time you went to court, your presentation was different. You came out and told Nigerians that there was no cross capital, and also faulting some of the judgment by those guys. Talking about the likes of uh, Justice Omotosho and the rest. What's, what's your position on this? Do you think it can yield any good result for Fubara's team? 
it ought to under normal sane circumstances under normal sane uh, environment and country but you know nigeria is a country of possibilities uh, a lot of things happen that shocks even the madman on the street <laughs> but be that as it may if people who you know mistakenly distort dates of their nyc discharge they say they finished this year or just even date difference day difference they count it as fraud they count it as you know not giving original in fact some persons have forfeited their gubernatorial you know seat for yeah, it exactly. if proven so yeah so that is how weighty what their martin amohele them did even if they want to deny it, because I could still remember their last plenary session they had in River State, where they made very bold claims that Fobara and his team, the commissioners, or the that they didn't even screen those commissioners in their in their in their sessions. So therefore, they are not recognized. And that the law, the long arm of the law, will catch up on them. That the accountant general, all of them, long arm of the law. But they have failed to realize and recognize the fact that there have been a lot of contradictory, you know, statements they have made. One minute they came out with so much joy and excitement, so much that even the president said he has, he has is welcoming their, his sons, his adopted sons, from PDP to APC. I could still remember them flagging Amahile with happiness and with joy, said they followed. The, the Nukocha was with them, yeah. raising their hands up with APC flag, uh, APC flag, uh, flags, insisting that they follow due process. process in the plenary. Caught on camera. I'm not saying a case of reported speech. He with his full chest. Affidavits were there. Sworn. Only for them to hear that later on. In fact, when they discovered some of these things, they first of all, behind behind, stopped uh, INEC from even declaring their seat vacant. Mm -hmm. All of that they did not make public. All of that they did not make public. But now. When the, the situation changed, chips were down. Yeah. They gently and very nicodemously removed all of that. Yes. And now they're not saying they never defected. So and that, uh, you know, these are supposed to be honorable members. Now, these are supposed to be leaders that the society, the young to. ones, are looking up to. Now, when they begin to do this and other people and the judges and the lawyers look the other way, what are we setting as precedents? What are we telling the younger generation? So if you ask me, Matt, uh, uh, Edwin Clark, Paddy Edwin Clark is not asking the wrong thing. He's asking the very right thing exactly. that every elder in the land should ask. But the question is, will the system allow rule of law and justice genuinely to prevail? Because we should be very careful what style we, and what new stand just because of our selfish need we are setting. Because when we do, the next generation will step it up. Just imagine, we are honorable members and now seen as dishonorable members and it becomes a norm. Mm. Then what would you say about the society? So if you ask me, he's asking the right thing. But the question now is, will it fly? We have seen several things. We have made... Fubara have made several, you know, uh, um, documentations, but you know, they just throw it and say it's not, it's not, it's not even, it's not visible. But let's see how it goes, because it's one thing to try; it's another thing to say you never tried. Who knows? Things can change. All right, I, I think this is uh, something that must be put into consideration, considering the fact that it has a lot to do with the law. How can you go to the court and you're giving a different information back home? You're, you're giving a different information. We all know what actually transpired during that period when they cross carpeted from People Democratic Party to the APC. All of a sudden, they're saying they did not cross carpet and everybody seems to be aligning with them despite all the evidences that have been put forward. This is a pointer to the fact that we are not safe. Even the judiciary cannot even stand up for, you know, the constitution of the country. That's we would like to leave you. Let's read our conversation and let's interact. Do you think that this demand by Edwin Clark will be honored by the uh, Inspector General of Police? Let's interact.